Nationals fans know by now that your Twitter handle is Bat Hoarder. You have long been a bat hoarder, collecting and uh, you know growing your your group of bats that you have. Today, you said I'm no longer the bat hoarder. Something has changed. Tell us what happened. Um, you know, it started at the end of last season. Really, um, wasn't very publicized. Cause I didn't say anything about it. But um, the summer ball team I played for in college is in Harrisonburg, Virginia. So you know, they had a couple folks that you know were affiliated with the team came up. I said, hey, I've got all these bats, you know, these college kids could probably use. So I unloaded about probably 40 or 50 bats on them. Still had too many. Had the baby at the end of the offseason. We're trying to travel. My wife's like, okay, you, you got to get rid of these. What Do you, something you know, here. Yeah, what are you going to use? Because we got to put a, we got to put a rock and play in a travel crib in here, not your bats. So, um, you know. Chris Isey shoots one out to left. Now that... Uh, in a little better situation where I don't have to worry about baseball bats so much, I decided to, you know, unload a bunch of them today before we put them on the truck. And, you know, a lot of guys do the same thing. Just I, I, I put it out there on Twitter. So, you know, hopefully they'll go down there and the minor league guys will use them and, you know, they'll enjoy them. A nice little gift. At its worst, how bad did the hoarding get? Uh, I mean, they were. It was. I mean, it was in you know over a hundred at least. So I mean, that's that's a lot of base. I mean, like I said, I unloaded a few dozen last year. I still have <laughs> five or six dozen with my of my own bats that I'll use this season. But uh, yeah, it's a lot.